Hi, my name is Cliff Hastings, and this video screencast is called Utilizing Resources to Expand Your Use of Mathematica. I've given lots of talks on Mathematica over the years, and I've actually created a lot of screencasts that help you get started with Mathematica and walk you through the basics of using certain aspects of Mathematica as well. But the primary question I get from people is that they have some concept in mind they want to use Mathematica to create or to visualize or to calculate but they don't know how to start doing that uh, application of that problem or they want to find something else that somebody else created uh, so they don't have to start from scratch. So this is what this screencast is all about is walking you through the resources already built for you at your disposal. So I'm going to actually go to the website, the Learning Center uh, website. I'm going to walk you through these different pieces of the Learning Center. So I pull open a website and go to wolfram.com slash learning center you'll see some different questions that it asks you. So it says you're looking to get started, watch a video screencast. So if you're here at the screencast page, you've already seen some of these, but there's some basic examples of getting started with Mathematica, and these videos walk you through uh, using Mathematica for certain applications. So you can find information on graphing, uh, you can find information on statistics, um, doing some more graphing, uh, doing presentations in Mathematica, making um, models in Mathematica, so lots of neat screencasts for you to work with Mathematica on your own to learn how to get started. If you want to watch somebody else present on Mathematica, these seminars are great because these are one hour long, they're free, um, you can ask questions throughout the talk and get actual answers you know, to your questions throughout that uh, seminar. So there's all kinds of seminars that are set up for you to use and you can simply register and from the comfort of your home or your office you can watch this seminar and then interact with questions uh, with us as well. There are a number of how-to's that are topic specific so if you want to learn how to create lists in Mathematica or how to plot data or how to perform a linear regression you can just click on one of these and it'll take you to information and it'll walk you through how to do that topic uh, in Mathematica. So these are new with version 7 and they're really useful uh, on the topic level uh, as well. We also have tutorials that give you more detailed information on a certain topic. So if you learned how to create models in Mathematica using the manipulate function, this tutorial actually gives you a lot more detailed information to read about uh, on manipulate and then gives you some examples as well. So the tutorials are here to really understand the detailed information behind the functionality or the functions in Mathematica that are most pertinent or interesting to you. And then finally in this section is demonstrations. So if you know you're ready to go ahead and make your project and start building those models for yourself, you might want to go find what somebody else has already done and then utilize that as a starting place. So if you know you want to work with fractal trees, here's an example of a demonstration. I can click on watch web preview, I can see it in action, and then if I say, yeah, I like this demonstration, I can actually download it. I can download it to my machine and then I have this notebook to use and to send off to my friends and colleagues or to use in a class, uh, whatever it may be, using the demonstrations. In addition, we have a lot of other resources as well. So a number of Mathematica books to help you uh, integrate Mathematica into a course or you want to learn more about doing elasticity with Mathematica. There are books set up for you. You can search by topic uh, as well. The library archive is a user submitted archive of information. So if I know that I want to, uh, maybe I'm a high school math teacher, I want to do a search for high school math and see what is here. There's almost a hundred different entries on high school math. Um, let's see, here's one called high school and middle school something. So this was a talk given at a conference uh, in 2008. Here's a bunch of Mathematica notebooks that was given as part of that talk. So I can click on one of these and download it. Uh, open it up to Mathematica myself and here is a talk that was given uh, on calculus and geometry demonstrations at that conference. So I can move forward. Uh, this is about volumes of revolution, the cylindrical shell method, and rotating the two-dimensional function. So I actually have this downloaded now. And if I ever want to teach about this concept, I have this um, that this young woman uh, made and I don't have to create it from scratch I can use what she has and then rebuild or change it based on what I want to um, show in my class uh, as well. So that's the library archive lots of good information there there's also paid training classes so if you want to have somebody teach you how to use Mathematica more efficiently uh, maybe you're at a company and you're integrated Mathematica into a project and you want uh, Wolfram Education Group to come teach you and train you how to use Mathematica in a one or two day course uh, that is available to you as well 
The video gallery then is a bunch of Mathematica experts and users who are talking about certain topics that they use Mathematica for in their work every day. So if we click on one of these, we can see somebody talk about that topic. So here is one about visualization in the classroom or Wolfram demonstrations in education or we could talk about optics with Mathematica. So lots of great videos to understand how people are using Mathematica uh, in the real world. The Mathematica Journal then is a journal dedicated to Mathematica users. There's a number of great articles in here for commercial, government, educational, all types of different applications and different vertical markets. Um, so you can always find something in here relevant to you and of interest to you. Um, and then a lot of the code that goes behind making it is in here as well. So a great learning resource and just to get some new ideas about how to use Mathematica in different areas. The Wolfram Forums then is a uh, resource where you can sign up for Math Group. Uh, and this is, you can, you can email it and post a lot of questions you may have technically. And then other members of Math Group will, will get those questions and then answer you and respond in this moderated email list. The Student Support Forum then is for students to actually go and then post questions. So if they have a technical question, they can post it here and then people on the student support form will respond or people at Wolfram may uh, jump in it to give some better um, suggestions or some help as well. So there's a couple of uh, forum resources for you to use. And then the custom group seminars, uh, people at Wolfram will travel to organizations, so high schools to companies, and give talks on Mathematica and some hands-on uh, work and, and experience with those people as well. So you can always contact us to request us to come do that for you as well. Last thing I want to point out is documentation. So if you're a Mathematica user, you know about the help in the Documentation Center. And there's a great resource for lots of information on finding uh, help and information on what you need. So I pull up the statistics page and I can find the different functionality in Mathematica that applies to statistics. Uh, here's one called chi-square distribution. If I click on that, I get a page on using the chi-square distribution function. Uh, here's information on how to type that into Mathematica. Here's some more textual explanations of the chi-square distribution function. And then here are the actual calculations uh, below, some examples. The nice thing about the documentation, though, these are not just static documentation pieces. This is not a static PDF. This is actually hooked into Mathematica uh, Live. So I can come in here and calculate these things. And let me go and click the PDF. And let me, instead of plotting this from 0 to 20, let's just plot from 0 to 10 instead. And I can do that calculation, and I get that result back uh, immediately. Or I go back to 20, and I can do that as well. So the examples are nice because they're actually live and hooked into Mathematica, so I can play and learn within the documentation itself. You'll also note there's a more about uh, section as well, so I can learn more about doing statistical distributions in Mathematica um, and all kinds of different information in here. Uh, as well. So the documentation for Mathematica is also found online at reference.wolfram.com. If I don't have my copy of Mathematica in front of me, I can always go to the website and do searches for documentation here as well. So for example, I'm going to learn about uh, computable data. I can click on that, find some information that's useful to me, and I like uh, looking at geography. So I'm going to click on geographic data, click on country data, and then I also have all the examples from geographic and country data uh, listed out here for me as well. So if I try to go in and calculate from the website, of course, I can't because it's just the website. Um, but you can click on the input, and then if you want to copy and paste the actual input back to your Mathematica license or email it to yourself, you can do that as well, which is really nice. So I hope this was helpful to you. The take-home point is there's lots and lots of resources already built for you to help you from the very start of Mathematica to when you're ready to push out your project uh, at the very end as well. So utilize the Learning Center as a place to get to a lot of this information as the one uh, portal to a lot of the stuff that's already built for you. Thanks and good luck.